Hello, Mixtresses and Mixters. This is Mixtress Ray. You're watching Mixtress Video. Um, this is what my nails look like after two day, two eight hour shifts at a public library. Great, wonderful. You guys saw them when they were fresh. <laughs> if you're, if you're a regular to my channel, so um, it is just so serendipitous. Um, synchronicity. That's the word that that witchy people use, right? That um, Gita from Empress Song, she just um, posted a video. I was watching it as this deck got delivered to my porch from a beautiful friend, Rachel. Thank you so much for gifting me this deck. Um, she d It got delivered on my porch as I was watching this video. And in the video, part two, she was suggest Gita was um, suggesting that Pulp Girls Tarot is a good alternative to Modern Witch, which was one of the reasons why I said yes when Rachel offered me this deck because I was I looked at a flip through online and I was like you know what, I think that might be what I had hoped Modern Witch was was going to be because and Gita talked about this in her video as well. Let me light a candle while we're while we're babbling about this. She talked about this in her video too, that like, you know, whenever you're paying attention to sort of the creation of a deck, the marketing scheme surrounding a deck, and you're sharing with other people in like sort of the experience of the marketing campaign as it's taking place, it makes you think differently about a deck. It makes you more more invested in it maybe and more likely to be disappointed I think is kind of what she was this is not necessarily what she said but kind of how what I took away from what she was saying and I was right there I started um collecting tarot decks beginning of 2019 and this deck was already in production I was following its creation on Instagram and let me tell you my story about Modern Witch because it's kind of stupid and I'm, I want to confess. <laughs> so, you know, obviously you can skip forward to me actually flipping through these two decks if you would rather do that. But, okay, so here's the thing with me and Modern Witch. So I thought that this deck was truly going to be like the end all be all. This is the first deck that I thought and maybe the only deck that I thought, okay, it's possible I won't need any more after this because I wanted what this deck is. I wanted what this deck is. And to be fair, I think this is a good deck. The cardstock is awful, but I do think it's a good deck. But it's, it did ultimately disappoint me. But in any case, what I wanted at the time was an all-girl deck that was... RWS um, clone that was, you know, more diverse, right? So both of these decks do that. Both of them. This one has more like 70s style clothing and it's kind of more witchy, even though this one's called Modern Witch. This one, like the color scheme is not really for me. In any case, okay, so my story with Modern Witch. I was so desperate to get this deck that I pre-ordered like the big kit that had the altar cloth and the pin and the patch and the tin and the velvet bag that fell apart after a year, even though I don't think I was using it. I wasn't even using it for the deck. I was using it to hold something else and it just like the patch started unraveling or anyway, the embroidery started unraveling on it, whatever. So I pre-order the like super expensive version of this deck and it was taking longer to get to me than like people ordering the regular version of the deck. So I ended up ordering a regular version of the deck because I was so impatient to get it while I was waiting for my pre-order. So I started off my journey <laughs> with Modern Witch Tarot having two copies for no reason from the get from the outset. And I hated the cardstock, so I ordered a knockoff. Um, if y'all have been around on my channel for a really long time, you might have seen that video where I was like comparing the knockoff to the original and talking about how it was a mistake. It was the first time I had ever bought a knockoff. 
and it was a bad quality one. Um, so it, I got rid of that. And then I found out about the German language version that has AGM beautiful, wonderful cardstock, and I got that. But I cut the titles and the borders off of that deck and ended up just never using it um, because it was just too small at that point. So I just finally rid myself. If you're keeping track, that's four separate copies of Modern Witch Tarot for no reason. I It was... It was just, you know, like obsessive thoughts, bullshit, like wanting to get it in my hands is what led me to buying the second copy and then hating the cardstock and thinking that having a better cardstock is what led me to buying both the knockoff and the German language version. But still, I hardly ever use this deck. Except this particular copy, and you're going to see it's very water damaged because this particular copy I keep in my bathroom and I use it in the tub because the cardstock is so, so highly glossy that it, it just doesn't matter. You could drop a card all the way to the bottom of the tub or your pool. I think the Empress has been at the bottom of a pool before. Um, so yeah, she's disheveled. She is disheveled. But, um, and I've cut the borders off of this deck too. But, it's usable. It's usable for the purposes of um, tub readings. <laughs> so that's my history with Modern Witch. I'm not getting rid of this copy. At this point, even if I wanted to, it's, it's pretty damaged. No one's going to want it. But I am keeping it. But I do think I'm doing sort of a one-in, one-out thing with my decks this year. Um, whenever I get a new deck, I do sort of trade out for a different one. Um, let's do the back. So this is corn, sort of my trade. I got this one as a gift from my beautiful friend, Rachel. Thank you so much. And then this one, I've spent so much fucking money. I try to calculate it like between the special edition, the regular edition, the knockoff and the German version, I've spent upwards of 150 160, 170, around that dollars on this motherfucking tarot deck. So, yeah, it's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And it wasn't really what I wanted. And I think that Pulp Girls Tarot is what I wanted out of Modern Witch because it's, it's cute. It's all chicks. Um, which I don't, I mean, that's not something that I necessarily want these days, but it is a very direct Rider Waite Smith clone and it's cute comic booky chick art. As you can probably hear, my kitten is playing with her, with her turbo scratcher thing in the background. So let's compare, shall we? I like that the fool in Modern Witch is wearing headphones, but I do not like that we see the device that the headphones are connected to. You know what I mean? It's, I don't really want to see smartphones in a deck. That's my own personal preference. Okay, let me, I'm gonna move these closer to each other so I have enough room to do this. I love the colors in the Modern Witch Magician card. I mean, it is the best card in this deck, probably. But I really, I really like the like 70s hair, 70s clothing. By the way, it looks like I'm holding these cards right over that flame. So if you're thinking, if you're nervous right now, don't be nervous. It's not actually right above the flame. <laughs> I just know I would be like, oh my God, is she going to set those cards on fire right now? No, I'm not. I do, I think I kind of prefer the art style of Pulp Girls Tarot too, which there are a few different reasons for that. And I'll talk about them as we go. We do have sort of like, you can see that the texture in Pulp Girls Tarot is more, there is more texture. You know, there's like this, um, I don't know what that effect is called, but you see, you can see the different textures there. And I also like, like, 
the color scheme is just more my style, more like jewel tones and um, with the dark borders and the sort of like kind of 60s, 70s font going on here. Aesthetically, Pulp Girls, you know, if I were choosing to get one of these decks over another, which I am choosing to keep both in this case, but um, if I were choosing one over the other, I would choose Pulp Tarot, Pulp Girls Tarot. This is actually not a bad example of it, but um, in Modern Witch, in throughout Modern Witch, we do have some size diversity. And one of the things that, this, this card doesn't represent it as well, um, but throughout the deck, a lot of the times we'll see a thicker woman with very thin arms, particularly in the star card. I'll show you that when we get to it. But in this deck, when we see sort of chubbier women, they have chubby arms. And this makes me happy in particular because I um, I tend to, like my body type is, I have very thick limbs. <laughs> um, so it's nice to see thick arms is what I'm saying. Both very, I like that they have the little Gemini symbols on their butts <laughs> and they're just so cute. So I think this is going to scratch the itch for me of like a cute RWS tarot. Knock off, knock off, clone. And one thing that bugs me about Modern Witch is the shoes. Like, not always, but especially like in this card, like this chick is a warrior. She is like out in nature. She is, she's Miss Strength, okay? She's not gonna be wearing these little fucking kitten heels. Like she should be barefoot or wearing some shit kicker boots, but not, what is this shoe choice? I really don't like it. That's awesome. Obviously, personal preference. Look at that fringe. And we do have, like, I just got this deck in my hands, like, literally an hour ago. So I don't know if they all have the astrology on them, but that's, let me start paying attention from now on. Pretty traditional. Like, they didn't change much about this Wheel of Fortune card. See, look at this justice chick. Okay, so she does have the Libra symbol. She has thick arms. Yes, come through with the thick arms. I love it. It makes me happy because i that's the part of me that I've been most self-conscious about throughout my life because they are pretty, pretty thick. Like if I buy a shirt that fits my arms, it's way too big for my torso. And if I buy a shirt that fits my torso, my arms are going to pop the seams, you know? I'm sorry, if I've stopped paying attention again. I do think the astrology is maybe on every card because here's Sagittarius right here on her arm. Look at that outfit on the Pope Girls. I just love it. I love this Temperance card too, though, to be fair. I do. I'm not getting rid of this deck. And I use it somewhat frequently because anytime I take a bath, I do a tarot reading pretty much. Yep, she's got Capricorn. I wonder if there's like a Mars symbol in this card. I don't see it. It might just be for like the regular astrology and yeah, she has the, okay. So here's a good example of like, see how this is a thicker chick in the modern witch, but her arm is, ex her arms are extremely skinny. <laughs> like that's, that's not how, and her legs too are a bit skinny for proportionately. And I realize like people can look like this and I do really like the strength card. 
I didn't even have to add this pubic hair. That it's already there. I like this star card, but um, this one makes me happy because we do we do have like what to me looks like just a more realistic proportions for a thicker thicker star lady. Yeah, I'm digging this. I'm digging this pulp curls tarot. I really am. It's for me, it's also scratching an itch. I know that this isn't the same, but um, there's a tarot deck called Blythe Tarot that uses Blythe dolls. And it's very much a straight up RWS knockoff with Blythe dolls in it. And it's very, very beautiful, but it's super expensive on Etsy. So this one is kind of like scratching that itch for me without me having to buy that expensive Etsy deck. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Look at this colors, yes. And the clothes. Here's another shoe choice in Modern Witch that I'm like, this one doesn't piss me off as much because I mean, at least her shoes match, match her jewelry. But I mean, go-go boots. <laughs> This is a much draggier deck. Pulp Girls is way more draggy, kitschy. That's what it's supposed to be. I mean, look at those bell bottoms. Look at that ass. I mean, come on. Have you ever thought someone's ass was sexy in a three of wands? I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. My Modern Witch doesn't even look, I mean, I thought that it would look just atrocious because it does, it is water damaged, but it doesn't really look that bad. I mean, if you get up really close on the edges, like there's a lot of foxing, the cards are swollen, like they're thick as fuck anyway, but they're even thicker now that like they've been <laughs> exposed to moisture so many times, but hey, it holds up, I'm telling you. If you have Modern, Modern Witch and you're like slightly dissatisfied with it, you don't use it that often, try it as a tub deck. I'm telling you. I seriously have dropped these cards to the bottom of the tub. More than once. <laughs> and they're fine. You just rescue them, wipe them off, throw them back in the deck. The first couple times I used it in the tub, I would just like spend time like with a washcloth after my bath and like dry off all the cards before I put them in the box. But I stopped even doing that and it's fine. <laughs> this image looks stretched to me, doesn't it? Like it looks like they didn't format the card correctly, the image correctly, and then they had to stretch it. It just something looks off about it. I mean, maybe she's supposed to look really, really tall, but I don't know, she just looks stretched. I mean, these are both good decks. Let's be real. They're both good, cute, comic booky chicks in an RWS clone. It's more just like a choice between aesthetics for the most part. Which one do you like better? They're both affordable, probably like around the same price even. The cardstock is, I have not shuffled Pulp Girls yet, but the cardstock is way better on Pulp Girls. Like it's not like quality card stock, but it's going to be fucking shuffleable. Like it's going to get chipped up on the edges. It's, it's going to show wear, but that's okay. Look at these patchwork jeans. I love the clothes and Pulp Girls Tarot. I really do. clear these because I'm running out of room to flip. I love 
love the colors in this modern witch eight of cups so someone pointed i was listening to um a podcast tarot is fucking cool yesterday and the, um the episode that i'm listening to right now is the eight of cups they were talking about the eight of cups and something that they pointed out that i had never noticed before so you know eight of cups going on a journey you might be back you might not um they're going to seek the ninth cup that is missing from this space. And in the nine of cups, they found it. I never thought about that before. That kind of like, it just adds to my, you know, understanding of eight of cups. I did not think about that before. I like that it's a dog and a cat as the kids in this Ten of Cups. I like that. <laughs> are all the pages in Pulp Girls like butterflies? I think they are. Hold on, let me check the, let me check the wands, yeah. So the pages are like, have butterfly wings for some reason in Pulp Girls Tarot. Maybe it'll explain that in the, in the book. I don't think it does though. The book also, just to give a little, I do not have the guidebook anymore for Modern Witch. Um, I gave it away with one of the copies that I, I think whenever I gave away my knockoff of Modern Witch, since that one didn't have a guidebook, I gave the, the guidebook away with it. So I don't have a guidebook for that anymore. So I can't compare those two things, but let's see. I like the guidebook for Pulp Girls Tarot though. It is very beginner friendly and it's very short and sweet. So like every single card, whether it be a major arcana card or a minor has just this image of the card, um, a short little sentence, some reflection questions and affirmation, a couple of bullet points for upright and reversed. And that's it. The majors don't get more attention than the minors. It's the same either way, and it's a cute little guidebook. There's, you know, some introduction stuff, like if you were completely brand new to tarot. If you were, comp so this is what these, so I don't need a guidebook most of the time, or ever really anymore. However, when you're going to have an RWS clone like this, I think it's a good idea to have a guidebook that is, short and sweet and geared towards beginners. Because, you know, when you're suggesting a deck for someone as a beginner, both of these decks would be great for that. Both of them. The cardstock is like, seriously, linoleum tile. I can't take credit for that, that's Grace. <laughs> that's Grace's um, phrase. Linoleum tile. It is linoleum tile, which is why you can take it with you to the pool or the tub or the beach. They'll be fine. Consider it a plastic deck, even though it's not. But it basically is. <laughs> so, you know, both of these, like if you did come to this video because you're looking to buy your first tarot deck and this is an art style that you are interested in, um, I will say if you do want to uh, riffle shuffle, choose pulp girls. All other items being the same, if you can't decide, you like both the art styles. But if you are okay with overhand shuffling, um, this one, like, you get a lot of flying cards with this. Like, they are flying all over the place. <laughs> um, it's annoying, actually. Anyway, I'm going to try to go a little bit faster because I don't think I have a lot of room left on my phone. I'm recording with my phone today. Fishnets. Love it. Love seeing fishnets. I mean, you hardly ever see fishnets. <laughs> you know? This is just, this deck is stinking cute is what it is. It is stinking cute. Again, with the shoes. You're trying to escape with some swords and these are the shoes that you choose? I don't think so. I don't think so. 
Anyway, I do think both of these decks are... I mean, they're, this is not an unfair comparison. This is a very fair comparison, right? I do think both of these decks very, very usable, very accessible. It just depends on which you're more drawn to and how much cardstock is an issue for you. If you are a riffle shuffler, you ain't gonna be able to do it with Modern Witch. No way. It's not happening. In fact, I'll try to I'll try to do it on camera and here in a second just so you can see the um, the absurdity of it. It'll it'll be hilarious. It's good. They're both good. They're both good. I'm happy to. I mean, at this point, Modern Witch is forgettable to me because I'm so forgettable might be the wrong word, but you know, it's like, it's not in my thoughts. I use it. Sometimes I forget I have it. Like whenever I was doing the disheveled decks tag, I didn't even show this one, even though it's probably my most disheveled next to Egyptian tarot. I didn't even show it because I forgot about it because it wasn't bath time season. <laughs> so I wasn't using this on any kind of regular basis. Also, um, I, I've noticed, I don't think there's any nudity in Pulp Girls Tarot. So if you are looking for that, um, if you're looking for a deck with no nudity, you can get that with Pulp Girls Tarot. Whereas there is a, just a regular amount of nudity, I would say. Like, I don't necessarily think about that, but... I'm thinking about it more because apparently, like, YouTube is shutting people down when they have nudity and cards sometimes. I don't know. So far, I've been okay. Knock on wood, actually. I don't love this, the person's expression in this card. She just looks a little too dissatisfied with their situation, which is not how I see Seven of Pentacles. She's great. I think also, you know, as I'm getting older, um, just sort of personal um, body image trigger warning right here. But as I get older, you know, how it gets, it's harder for me to keep weight off. It's I'm gaining weight for even though I'm not actually changing things about my lifestyle, you know what I mean? And I'm having to adjust to that. And this deck is helpful to me to look at these. I mean, obviously this isn't like realistic representations of women. It's, it's cartoon chicks, but cartoon chicks that are super fucking cute and chubby, most of them. So that is actually nice. <laughs> I do enjoy that. And not that we don't see chubbier chicks in Modern Witch. We do, but they're not as... I don't know. It's it's not the same. I don't even know how to articulate it. There you go. An unfair comparisons between Modern Witch and Pulp Girls Tarot. Um, let's do a little shuffle demonstration for both of them. Start with the comical one. Seriously, and I have gone through, with this deck, I have spent a lot of time with it. Um, I've had it for like, uh, I got it in like November 2019. So I've had it three and a half years. I have gone through and I've bent the cards. A bunch of them have like creases on them from where I've bent them. You can see that here too. Um, I've done that. I obviously trimmed off the borders, which anytime you make cards smaller, it makes it, if they're already hard to shuffle, it's gonna make it even harder to shuffle. So I did make it slightly harder to shuffle probably. 
Although I think it's easier to get my hands around it now because it's such a thick, this deck is an inch and a half thick, an inch and a half. I mean, this looks like a full deck in each hand. <laughs> so I can kind of riffle it after three and a half years, kind of, but it takes a lot of strength and concentration and it's a chunky shuffle. So overhand is your best bet, but look how hard it is to over even just like, yeah, it's difficult to overhand too. And it really, cards go everywhere. Cards go everywhere. You can fan it though, I think. Yeah. I mean, obviously I don't have the space on this tiny little ottoman thing right now, but you can kind of fan it, but it is, it is a chonky motherfucker. <laughs> chonky motherfucker. Okay. I'm going to do my first shuffle with Pulp Girls Tarot. Oh, she's getting edged in purple too. She is probably today because I do that shit fast. I don't waste time when I'm edging something. I mean, it's not the easiest in the world, but it's okay. It's okay. Should we do a, if I get cut off because I run out of space on my phone, I'm just going to go with it, but let's do a reading if we have time. Like, I never do deck interviews. Like, every once in a while I will, but I usually don't. Let's do a deck interview. Let's do our relationship together, how we work together as, like, the middle card. And then strengths on the left, weaknesses on the right. Okay, this will be our relationship. Strengths. Okay, I actually did drop that on the <laughs> on the flame, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I live on the edge. I live near a flame. And sometimes things get set on fire. Which is one of the reasons why I had to, after like a year, I had to throw away the altar cloth from Modern Witch Special Edition because it was highly flammable material. Okay, weaknesses of this deck. Weaknesses of this deck. No cards flying into flames, please. Okay, here we go. So, our relationship together. Ooh, Nine of Wands. Interesting. Um, I, I can see like if I am at this point, you know, like say it's been a very long day at work. I'm super fucking tired and I still have to go back the next day and I need some comfort and I'm looking to find comfort in different ways, you know, because in the past, like after a long day of work, you know, I'd come home and I'd find comfort in a bourbon and or shopping online and or watching a bunch of YouTube videos, which isn't really comforting. It's just numbing. Maybe this deck will be good to go to when I need some reassurance and comfort because it will be sweet. Looking at these images will just be delightful and sweet, right? Strengths of this deck. See, it's not burned. It's not burned. It's okay. Three of Wands. So it'll help me with stepping through that portal when I'm, I've got things set up for my future, but I haven't actually taken that first step yet. It will help me with that. Weaknesses of the deck. Eight of Pentacles. So I'm not going to be doing any, obviously, uh, 
not going to be doing any super deep work with this deck. This is going to be more of a comfort food kind of deck, which is totally fine with me. Totally fine with me. All three of these chicks got thick thighs and I'm here for it. <laughs> I love it. This is so cute. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much for giving me this deck. It was definitely like, um, it's it. It's been like maybe not necessarily a hard week, but work was stressful yesterday and um, I only have two days off before I have to go back <laughs> and um, it's it's been difficult lately at work. So it was nice to receive this my first day off of the week um, after my work week. Um, I get this in the mail and that was just a beautiful moment. So anyway, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one of these, um, do you have either of these decks? How do you feel about them? Do you have them both? Did you have a similar feeling to me with Modern Witch where like you just, the, what you wanted from it, you just didn't really get? Um, do you think that this is a good alternative for that? Or are you just not even into that vibe anymore anyway? Totally cool. Whatever your opinions are. Um, okay. I think that's it for me.